Hi everyone, this is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com and this is your December 2019 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. So just a quick disclaimer that this reading is going to be very general and it may or may not really tune in with the rest of you guys even though I can make very solid predictions because how I do my readings is really predictive. So just keep that in mind. So accept what you want to hear and ignore the rest if that is what you want but I would suggest that to keep in mind all the informations over here because I really want to share you guys what I'm picking up and that can lead to help you guys on how to navigate the entire month of December in case some some situations come up for you so um yeah for a more personal prediction and reading that is for you for your own situation you can do that by ordering a reading and booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com i would advise you guys to check in with your sun moon and rising sign um, and combine all the information right there to make it more um to connect with you but basically so that you can gain a lot more information throughout this reading session even though it's just free here on youtube so um yeah thank you guys for tuning in with me and let's get on with the reading hi there aquarius aquarius sun moon and rising sign this is your december 2019 love monthly forecast reading with me chrissy from in the stars by chrissy.com now for the month of December, I'm doing things a little bit differently. More like I am going back to how I usually do my forecast readings here on YouTube. And if you have been with me from the start of my YouTube journey, you will know that the way that I usually do my reading is that I just lay out all the cards and tools that I usually use for my um my usual psychic um, tarot readings, um, more like a channel guided message is what I'm picking up. So I'm really channeling all the information that I'm picking up all in one um, setup like this and give you the information on how things are going to be manifesting for you for the upcoming month. So that's how I usually may do my personal readings and paid sessions as well. So um, yeah, this way you will have a more clear idea of how I usually do my readings and predictions as well. I've noticed that this is really the most effective way to really connect and tune in with, with someone. And hopefully it will give you guys insight and clarity to navigate the month of December as well. So um, yeah. It may be very specific or it may be general. It really depends. But um, yeah, th this is intended to be a general reading. So it may or may not connect to each and every one of you guys. But um, yeah, I hope it will resonate with you. And let's start the reading. Okay, Aquarius. Aquarius, you are feeling some form of energy within the month of December and this energy is something you are acknowledging and it's triggering your emotions as a whole. I kind of feel that you are at the point of isolation right now or it could be a situation wherein you might not be happy in your current situation. There is something that I kind of feel that you have lost something probably in the past and maybe in the past few months you acted as if it was nothing but this month of December it is triggering you something is triggering your emotions and it makes you look back on things it makes you feel the energy and it makes you realize how regretful you are feeling or or I don't know, there is some form of energy here wherein maybe you feel disappointed. Maybe there is something that you feel sad about that it did not work out, something like that. Or you are just probably stressed with how things has occurred. Of course, 
this can manifest in different ways. This can be also a situation wherein um, you are worried about something and you are seeing things in a very difficult manner in a negative way. It just kind of feels like you are about to make a decision and it has a lot to do with your past. It's not really... I don't see this as a new thing, as a new venture. It is possible though, but I kind of feel that if you ever do things in a new venture, you are completely going to remove everything about the past. It can manifest in that way, but... Um, I kind of feel here with how all the combinations of cards are going. It feels as if you are going to reconstruct a relationship from the past. Revive a relationship from the past. Renew that relationship. We have here the Six of Wands. And it's funny because the Five of Wands showed up as well. And whenever the Six of Wands shows up, this is a situation wherein this is what happens after experiencing some form of conflict. So clearly we are seeing here that someone was left out in the relationship. There has been some form of problem, some coldness in the air. There are difficult experiences in the relationship we can clearly see that in the first three cards even and when the nine of swords being representative of you it clearly shows us that there is some form of energy here that seems not really happening in the positive light maybe there were delays maybe nothing is happening or maybe things are not happening in the way that you expect them to be, in a way that you thought will make you feel better, but it did not. Something like that. It is showing us here that, you know, you had a clean slate. Maybe you have broken off with someone or maybe there was already a separation that has occurred because it is being clarified by the woman and the crossroad card. So this could be you know, this could be you who was removed in your partner's life. Again, it can be vice versa. So it could it could be you, it could be the other person. So someone was removed in the relationship and there was a clean slate that has occurred. But this has created a lot of inner conflict within that person. So um, yes, you did a clean slate. You should be feeling okay, but for some reason, you're not. And that is really the problem here. Now you're acknowledging your own feelings, whoever this person that I'm picking up. You're acknowledging your own feelings, and I kind of feel that you might connect with this person. You know, do something to reach out to someone. I kind of feel that if you have been negative with a certain person in your life before, that can change. You know, you can suddenly be more positive about them and you're putting something, some form of idea in your head that maybe you are now willing to connect with them once again. You can even apologize or, you know, it's like making things up to that person. And trying to move forward again. I kind of feel that, you know, you might be spending December with a lot of reflections as well. I do see a lot of reflections here happening. Reflection and frustration all at the same time. It makes me feel that, you know, in the past, you really didn't have the time to reflect on the actions that you have taken. Or maybe you were not able to see um you were not very open-minded in the past but this time around you it seems that you are more open to making things work out there is that energy 
But at the same time, you're taking your time. You are weighing in the pros and the cons if ever you should really go and do this. But they kind of feel that, you know, you are going to start something within the month of December. It's either you or the other person is going to start something and they might be showing up in your life very soon or you might be showing up on their life. You are willing to connect with that person. We do have the moon in Scorpio in the 11th house. And 11th house has a lot to do with first success. What you acknowledge, what you want to achieve, your goals, associations. You're willing to connect with that person. And right now you are feeling things on a very emotional level. But it's not toxic so um yeah there could be difficult energies though at the beginning of december maybe because this is the time where you are you know thinking about what you're feeling thinking about the past thinking about what did not work out but i kind of feel that for the latter part of the month you're thinking more on okay i have thought about all the negative things that has happened. Right now, what can I do about it? What should I do about it? Am I just going to let things, you know, happen the way it is? Should I just let all of this negativity suffocate me and eat me alive? Or will I be doing something to change that? So there is a sense of loss here, but... It's more of a past tense kind of thing because they kind of feel that, lo that the loss that you are feeling and sensing on this reading has already occurred and you are just, you know, thinking back and being reminded of that loss once again. And right now, I kind of feel that major part of December, you are going to feel very emotional Maybe because of your desire of wanting to have a connection, but you are not able to do so. I just kind of feel that, you know, eventually you will take action. Eventually something is going to be transpiring that leads you guys to, to try to work it out. Try to work it out. Try to talk it out. We do have a lot of combinations here of, of wanting to connect with someone, wanting to make peace with someone, wanting to talk to someone, wanting to reduce something in the relationship, giving a chance in a relationship that has already fallen apart. There is that form of energy. But the first, again, like I said, the first um, part of the month is going to be spent a lot up with isolation realization and contemplation i kind of feel that this is the month we're in you come to realize of what you really want out of a relationship who do you really love what is love all about to you is it just a silly thing you know there are t types of people we're in they will just tell themselves that everything is on the mind. Everything is on the mind. And this is like the month we're in. You come to realize where is it love just in the mind? Can it, can it be taught? Can it be adapted? Can you just change what you feel in a blink of an eye? It's because I kind of feel that, you know, there's a lot of realizations, a lot of truth that is going to be revealed to you and from that truth you are much more willing to take action we do have this king of swords as the outcome card and whenever this card shows up in the future it's like telling us that someone is about to show up in your life You may have been waiting for this person for such a long time though. Maybe because that they are fickle or anything like that. I mean, each person is different and I'm not going to judge on that. For me, 
just accept the person the way that they are. It's part of life. So they might have been fickle in the past, but this time around, once they enter back your life, they are going to be much more certain with things because they have deliberated about things for such a long time. I kind of feel that maybe in the past, they were confused and did not really make the right decision. Again, this could be you or the other person. But this time around, I kind of feel that, you know, they can make the right judgment on things. So like I said, this can be renewing that relationship and making things work out. We do have the meditation card over here. The focus on service and the teamwork card. So there's clearly some form of partnership that is being worked on here. Focus on service is like, you know, trying to make up with a relationship. Think about customer service. Whenever someone complains or, you know, whenever there is a customer that you are about to lose, what do you do, right? You do everything that you can to gain that person trust once again and that is all part of service so it has that similar energy similar connotation i would say and we also have the teamwork card which is the partnership card work with others to make this situation come about is what the message is saying and this is very true. I kind of feel that this is going to be a situation where in at the first part, you think about things, think about the loss, you wallow in that misery, and you end up wishing for things to change, wishing for things to happen. You don't want to regret anything anymore. You know, you have already encountered a lot of stuff that has given you a sense of loss and this time around i kind of feel that there is something about you that is becoming more ready to face things and to work out a relationship is coming in very strong as well and i really like the image of the card as well it ha it is a cat and a unicorn so just see how different they are to each other but for some reason they are finding a middle ground and understanding one another usually the cat is going to be scared <laughs> with anything bigger than them but they are trying to you know compromise trying to talk things out and i kind of feel that you know talking things out compromise is going to be big here also when i was, when i was shuffling me my lenormand this card fell out as well at, at least two times so there is really a theme of love here. The rat and the mice, rather, mice and the heart can be a sense of, you know, something is eating you emotionally. It can also be a sense of, you know, some form of excitement in terms of love can happen. So there is going to be a mixed bag of emotions that you are going to be feeling. But I kind of feel that there eventually there is definitely going to be a mutual growth that is going to be transpiring in terms of your love life and relationship i strongly feel this very much that you know this is a situation wherein you will find a middle ground to to make peace with that person, to balance things out, to make it all work out again. This might be something you do with your past, like a past love, a past, re past relationship, or it could be just, you know, a present situation. A present, present relationship that did not work out or hasn't been working out so much. So, um, yeah, there is that energy. I kind of feel that for a lot of you guys, you might hear from someone very distant to you from afar. And, you know, you might be working out that the relationship, despite the distance. 
they could be, you know, making a trip to, to even see you and go to you. There is that form of possibility as well. So, um, yeah, I do feel that this is a month of working things out for a lot of Aquarius out there. But again, even though I do see the possibility of working things out, the major theme for you guys is to reflect on everything. If reflect on thinking of your own mistakes because I kind of feel that, you know, in a relationship, there is no such thing as only one person creating a problem, creating a mistake. One way or another, two people need to reflect on their own issues, personal issues, to mend that. So that, you know, when they come together, they can make the relationship work out. I do say this a lot of times, that reuniting the relationship, fixing a relationship, sometimes becomes temporary and the only way to make it last is when you really reflect on things really try to work it out work out the past issues do not brush it off because once you brush off a past issue you'll just end up repeating that mistake over and over again so it's better to you know to talk about it to fix that problem ahead of time what did not work out, the issues and problem that is causing misery in the relationship so that, you know, in the future, you guys will know how to handle it, what to do about it, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, making it up to someone, teamwork, partnership, working things out, rebalancing things and reviving a relationship is becoming strong. But before you revive them, you know, there's going to be a lot of emotional outbursts and releasing. And this is, you know, happening to make you realize what love is all about for you and what your emotions is, are really telling you. I kind of feel that, you know, maybe your angels or your higher self is nudging you and leading you to some form of scenario that is meant for you, for a relationship that is meant for you. And if you are not um, acting on your higher self, you know, I kind of feel that the universe is going to force you to go into that direction, which is why you will end up with a lot of thoughts, a lot of realization, all that, all that kind of thing all of that kind of stuff to make you see the truth, to make you see the situation for what it is, to make you realize, to focus on what your heart is telling you, not just what your mind is telling you, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. This is your reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. I do hope that this reading has given you insight and clarity to your situation. If you'd like a more personal reading, just book a session with me in the stores by Chrissy.com and I'll see you guys next year.